222 day, we will talk about AI agents. And despite what a lot of people think because of my speech patterns, I am not an AI agent. AI agents are essentially what chatbots were trying to be. And before I get into some of the specifics of a couple of projects, I want to play this clip that explains what an AI agent actually is. AI agents are the new meta. AI agents are the new meta. Here's what the fuss has been about. AI agents are computer programs designed to autonomously perform tasks or make decisions based on their programming and act based on what is happening around them. AI agents have social ability, they are proactive, and they have autonomy. An agent is ever so slightly different from, say, a chatbot in the sense that the agent doesn't require constant prompting from you, the user, to perform certain tasks. Oftentimes, it takes cues from its environment and does what it thinks is best from its initial instruction. Now, things get really interesting when you introduce AI agents into the Web3 ecosystem. These tools allow you to do really cool things like execute a transaction with a prompt. You could execute a transaction by simply telling your agent to send one ETH to an Ethereum address or an ENS domain name. You could tell your agent to deploy a smart contract to Uniswap or ask your agent to swap 100 USDC for some Doge. And your agent will do just that. Things get really interesting with multi-agent systems. Picture this, one agent handles your trade, Another manages your subscriptions and payments. A third one monitors your wallet security for suspicious activities. These agents get to collaborate with each other, make decisions, and scale up infinitely to handle complex real-world tasks. You see, AI agents are shaping a new digital economy where humans are a lot less involved in the day-to-day -day execution and a lot more focused on strategy. Agents aren't just the future, they're happening right now. And if you're not paying attention, you might get left behind while your agent is busy swapping your USDC for some Doge or draining your wallet. The project I will be concentrating on here is Griffin. And it's not because I'm trying to pump it. It is because it seems to be not only one of the up and comings, but it also arguably has some of the best technology out there. Here is an example of typing out what you want to actually purchase and the AI agent is able to handle all of that. And it's done. You have probably c come across a couple of AI agents here on X as well. And they are remarkably human-like. They have already picked up on how to speak like a lot of the crypto influencer accounts do. And here is another example here where it n not only creates a post, but it is able to reply in a way th that is not only relevant, but is also pretty organic. I have not paid attention to the AI agent space, but that's primarily because it's only been around for a couple of months at the longest. However, it is already outperforming a lot of other asset categories in crypto. As of right now, the AI agent sector is only $15 billion. Meme coins are about $121 billion. And with the utility combined with the meme coin-like communities and following online, it could drastically outperform meme coins in this run. I think it happens Q1. That's my prediction, okay? That the cumulative market cap of agent coins flips open AI in Q1, okay? What that means, the AI is about to go on an absolute god sun run. Here is the founder of Riffane showing how a quality and high tech AI agent can be a lot more valuable than simply a catchy account on X. What does the fleshed out, fully like 10 out of 10 complete app store look like? Excuse me. Um, we got our iPhone. Um, what I think a world look, what the world looks like is you download Griffin, you open up Griffin and you have number one, your personalized agent. Number two, you have the app store where you can scroll and find different experiences on chain. Not only that, but let's say you actually don't have any Solana in your account. So then what you can actually do is go ahead and use Apple pay to go ahead and fund your wallet. So you can start doing things on chain. Once you fund your things on chain, it's just, or once you fund your wallet on chain, it's as simple as opening up a threat. Uh, 
Yo, this looks insane. It's as, it's as simple as opening up a thread and asking a question, which is like, hey, Agent Napoleon, here's what I want to do on chain. What do you recommend? So Whoa. I'll just prick one of the prompts and I'll be like, trending tokens, and it'll be able to show me the trending tokens. Mobile mobile is live, right? Like I'm using I'm using this. There's a couple people who have mobile as well, and we will we are working with Solana Mobile mm -hmm. to get onto the DAP store for the Seeker Seeker release. Um, so here you'll see, right? Like it's giving me my trending tokens yeah, on my yeah. phone. Here's another example of what Griffin is able to do, where you are able to choose specific agents to perform certain tasks. And it is choosing here, and it's typing in another prompt, and it's creating a different reply off of the different type of an AI agent. And I don't really know what this part means right here. So Phantom is a Solana wallet that is extremely popular. And Tony P is the founder of Griffin. And it appears as if there's some kind of collaboration here. And I have no idea what it could be. However, one of the thoughts that popped into my head was that there might be some kind of a functionality for an AI agent to have its own wallet. And what that could mean is that you can have your own AI agent with its own funded wallet and just tell it to go out on chain and perform tasks. And on that note, we are training AI agents to farm AMM yield on command. Hands-on DeFi is over. And here is kind of an example of that. A Anon AI is an AI powered DeFi protocol, simplifying interactions, aggregating real time information, and executing complex action through natural language processing. And I understand this point here in that an AI agent cannot pay Y seed because it is not a person. It does not have a X ID. However, I don't really think that that will end up as a long-term problem. I think that we will create some way to allow for that to actually happen or to create some kind of an alternative. And one way is that if you are in control of an AI agent, and even if it were to have its own funded wallet account, if that wallet passed up to you, then there wouldn't really be a KYC problem. And I don't really agree with Powell here. He is an extremely intelligent guy and he has gotten a lot of things right. He is thinking that AI agents are just kind of a trend right now because there hasn't been a lot of things happening. And I can kind of see how that has a lot of truth in it. However, the high quality ones that will turn into products adopted by people who don't spend all of their time on Crypto X, I think this might be a little bit short-sighted. And kind of on the same line as the KYC route. Your AI agent works for you. But without privacy, others might get too curious. Pick AI private with a left zero. That is an extremely good point because a lot of the things like chat G GPT are essentially just collecting tons and tons of inputs in order to continue its own tr training and development. There's not really regulations or restrictions r right now that help t to control how these companies and these platforms are able to use all of the information that you are providing. And I came across this, and it is talking about one particular platform. However, it kind of works as an overall illustration as well. If you are running a bunch of agents and feeding them data, your data quickly becomes property of each company controlling each agent. And it's only a matter of time before there's either a hack 
or they are somehow able to use it against you. And a solution is called local host deployment. Instead of trusting a company's servers, you take the agent they built and deploy it on infrastructure. Now, if you are interested in any of this, how do you actually go out and find them? Huntient.market can be a good resource. Cookies.fun and even CoinMarketCap now has an AI agents category.